Folks, Aaron here, otherwise known as Overfella, and today I thought I'd give you a little bit of a kind of deck tech vlog for my Mardu, I suppose Mardu control deck for standard, based uh, loosely on Mardu Pyromancer from Modern, but of course using very little of the Modern cards. So if you like this, uh, give it a like and subscribe for more of this one. So let's start off with the reason why. Uh, I love the look of Pyromancer in Modern and I don't play it, but I would love to. Um, so let's start off with our one drops. The one drops are a little bit interesting. We have four copies of Legion's Landing, which is the legendary art enchantment that lets you put a 1-1 one, one vampire lifelink token to the board and then lets you uh, flip it once it's you have three car uh, creatures attack at the same time that make, gives you a new land which either taps for white or gives you a token for two and a white it's a really solid card it's a really good early blocker for lifelink and later on you've got constant uh, token generation next up is Gitu Lava Runner which is the one one? I think he's one two. Yeah, he is a one two. Uh, Human wizard, which has the ability as long as there are two or more instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard, he gets plus one and has haste. He's actually a very late addition to the deck. He was, uh, well, at one point he was in the sideboard at one point, and then in early testing he was actually not in the deck at all. I feel right now he's actually really good to help with padding up the legion landing, and also you play so many spells. He's near enough always a 2-2 when he comes out, so it's pretty good. Next up, the first set of the black cards, and where most of the black um, curve sits, which is three copies of Duress and four copies of Vicious Rumor. Why this way? It's because Vicious Rumor is, in my opinion, a little bit more damaging to an opponent than Duress, because Duress only hits spells, it doesn't hit creatures or lands, and Vicious Rumor is they have to discard one, Mill one, I think it's lose one life and you gain a life, and that's for each opponent. Of course, it's for 1v1, so it doesn't really matter about the each opponent part. The reason why I feel it's a bit better is because right now, Demir uh, or any decks using black and blue like to ha be able to control the cards that go into the graveyard, and with this one, they actually can't. They can only control the card that goes from their hand in the graveyard, so it's not so good, it's not so great for them. The only problem is the Nullhide Ferox green mythic which I run in my Golgari deck because it will trigger and become going straight out onto the board on turn one so a 6-6 on turn one not many decks can actually cope with it so let's go on to our two mana slot we have it's pretty simple four copies of tormenting voice uh, one and one red t sorcery additional cost sac uh, discard a card draw two I love this card in modern from one red tron and I love it here as well it just means that when you draw a land you need gas, it just fixes that problem for you, not a problem. Four copies of Lightning Strike, it's a staple card. If this was if this was going to be anything else, it would be Lightning Bolt, if we had Lightning Bolt, because one mana three damage is so good. But I'm happy paying two, da uh, two damage, or two mana for three damage. Then the other uh, late addition to the deck, and I think the final black card in the deck, um, Knight of Malice. So he is the 2 2 first strike with hex proof from white and gets plus one as long as any player controls a white permanent. In this deck, you're running, because of landing and the high end tier, he's actually more likely a 3 2 than anything else. And he's actually, he's really good, right, to be fair. At one point, he was uh, Venerated Loxodon, which is now on the sideboard, which is the uh, Convoke Elephant that when you convoke to bring him out, every creature gets plus one, plus one counters on it. But I felt. It was a bit too slow right now. I think that card's probably better suited for Absan, and I'm going to be looking at building kind of an Absan list va variant on this, as I'm really liking three colours right now. I know it sounds greedy, but at the same time, with Shock Clans and all and uh, Check Clans, we can kind of make any land base we need to. Uh, so let's move on to the three mana. Two of my favourite cards from Guilds of Ravnica Legion Warboss and Risk Factor. Legion War Wars actually is in the uh, Mardu Pyromancer deck for Modern, it's in latest edition. Uh, I, I love it, it's brilliant. So essentially it's a 2-2 two, two for 3 with Mentor, which is whenever this creature attacks, gives plus 1, plus 1 to anything that's 
uh, to a creature that has got less power. I begin the combat on your turn. You create a 1 1 red goblin token and it gains haste and has to attack this turn if able. So, turn three, you are pretty much, as long as you draw a war boss, you're constantly making a threat for your opponent until they kill the war boss. He's really powerful, and I, there would be more than two copies in here if they, I had two more than two copies. Same with Risk Factor. However, Risk Factor, I probably wouldn't run any more than three, because I don't feel it's as powerful as War Boss. But it's still really powerful, especially an instant speed three mana of target opponent may have Risk Factor deal four damage to them, and if the player doesn't, you draw three cards and can jump start. Same difference as the Tormenting Voice. You can discard um, cards like your lap basic lands and stuff when your opponent's really low looking for um, ways to just round up the match. And your opponent's get bound to go for the draw three. So you can draw gas again. If not, you're doming them for four. Either way, you're winning. Moving on to the four mana. This is where a lot of the white lives. Uh, we have two copies to settle the wreckage. It's kind of dumb that it's that this deck only just put I have only just put these in makes I couldn't find them it's an incredible card at one point these two were deafening clarions which still uh, two mode gives every, all your creatures life link and slash or deal three damage to each creature I feel that's a bit too damaging for this deck because not many creatures you have are above two toughness what we sell the wreckage is literally targeting an opponent so you're not kind of crushing yourself you're you're kind of hurting your opponent more than you hurt yourself. And then we have a Conclave Tribunal and an Ixalan's Binding, one of each, mainly because Binding stops stuff like the War Bosses against for our counters or Arc Light Phoenixes. Um, and Tribunal is there so because it's got the Convoke cost of we can play that a little earlier. And then rounding out our spots for everything, we have Lyra Dawnbringer, the 5 5 First Strike Life Linking Flying Angel. With other angels you control, get plus one, plus one, have lifelink. That bit doesn't mean much to this deck. There's no other cards that are angels. This is just a really powerful 5-5. Five five. That's hard to beat right now. So let's move on to the lands. The lands are still in the process of being tuned up. Mainly for our sets. And I don't have as many check lands as I thought I would. So we have only two swamps but a memorial to folly. To return to our creature card from grave to hand. This is literally just to start recycling any of the uh, big creature thoughts we have. Then we have five mountains and five. No, that's four planes. That's supposed to be... Okay, there's a third swamp there. Don't know why that ended there. Then we have three clifftop retreats and two sacred foundry, four isolated chapel, which I'd love to have godless shrine in here as well, but we can't have them yet. And then Dragon Skull Summit, just a single. To be fair, if I was going to be tuning this deck up for um, for a consistent land base, I would have, in the end, four Retreat, four Foundry, and four Dragon Skull, and just reduce the basic lands down a bit. So probably cut two of the mountains and two of the plains for those two, for those cards. And then probably a Swamp as well for the other Summit. Cyber-wise, it's still in the process of being made. Um, to uh, cut Lee's Honor Guard to stop um, cards from triggering their into the battlefield effect is going to be in there. But this will be. The, I'm going to be using this at my uh, local FNM, which is at Mad for Miniatures this Friday. So uh, what I'll do is once I've come back from that one, I will probably post on Instagram the results. So follow me on Instagram at, at overfiler. And you'll find out the results of that one. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.